Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Decipherer and I help you to crack the code of the sleep and dreams so you can sleep sound and dream deep. This evening I have um, a set of two dreams and, and featuring psychological tests and new pr projects and cars being driven into a river. So as always, we'll look at the first look at the, what the text of the two dreams are, and then we'll look at them separately to see what clues come up, and then figure out what ties them together. So starting with the first dream, the dreamer reports that the dreamer took part in a psychological experiment group, uh, with one group showing this displaying um, antisocial behavior were paired with other individuals of the same age and sex to act as um, as their shadows to, to kind of follow them around. And so that when the person in the first group behaved badly to someone in the third group, group C, the person in the second group or group B will apologize to the person who was, who was a um, offended in this third group, explain the problem that occurred, and then offer friendship. So the subjects were of various ages and, and conditions, and they were placed in various environments. And the results were particularly interesting or cute, as the dreamer puts in quotes, um, in the play group, the preschool play group environment where the dreamer's youngest son was um, in the group B. That's the group that does the, the kind of mending of fences. And the dream ends there. In the second dream, the dreamer reports that um, he was with his wife and a couple of friends, a male and a female, and they were working on a project, which is unnamed, and developing a space um, for which the dreamer had been given a, quite a bit of funding for. The One of the friends, the male friend, had created a pamphlet, um, which was to, to set the scene or set things in motion. The dreamer then reports that they were uh, the dreamer and his wife were putting together some resources for this, this unnamed project. The, meanwhile, the female friend accidentally drove her small green car into the river. Don't know how it happened or why, but the car ended up in the river. And finally, an ex-roommate um, of the dreamer um, I assume male, can't tell, w uh, was excited that, oh, okay, that he was going to be involved. So it was a male, <laughs> a male ex-roommate was excited about being involved in this particular project and the dream ends there. Now, as I've always said, whenever dreams are dreamt in close proximity to one another, either in the same night or in a short period of time, say in a week, over a week or something, they're usually connected in some way. So first we'll look at the two dreams and then we'll see how they're connected. In the first dream, the dreamer is reporting that some kind of psycho psychological test or um, was going, being conducted. Um, and <laughs> as a psychotherapist, I would call this shadow work. And in fact, the word shadow comes up. Um, so there is definitely something going on in the shadows or on, underneath, um, in perhaps in the, the dreamer's unconscious mind that is working, is being worked on. Now, there were th in this psychological test that was delivered, there were three groups. Group A that would act, act out um, act in antisocial ways, and, and a second group, group B, that were like the, the mediators or appeasers to kind of fix situations when they arose because of group A's behavior, and group C, the recipients of group A's bad behavior. 
Now, group B is working, is literally shadowing. And that's an expression that's used here when, when somebody is like an intern or something and they are shadowing the person whose job they're going to be stepping into. Um, so group B is working in the shadows. It's something hidden. It's not um, visible immediately. If you're looking at it in psychological terms, it's obviously that this group B of individuals exists, but they represent shadow work, working in the dark, working in things that are hidden or need to be brought to light. And it's interesting that this, this shadow work is actually a bridge between the group that's misbehaving and the group that's the recipient of the bad behavior. So th this important work that's going on in between these two um, groups is quite, um, it's internal work, it's important work, and it's applicable apparently to all ages and conditions because the, the people in doing this testing were in different environments and of different ages. What's interesting about this, that the dreamer reports that the, their youngest son was in the shadow group. And I would put to the dreamer here that there's perhaps there is some internal work or shadow work that the dreamer is either doing right now, or this is kind of a, a pointing in the direction of there's some inner work that needs to be done or looked at. The sun could, in a sense, literally represent the dreamer's shadow, the part of the dreamer that's unacknowledged, unrecognized, um, underutilized. And so this inner child, if you will, of the dreamer is trying to, to do some mediation work here and bridge the gap, so to speak. So we move on from there to the second dream, and which I, I kind of gave a subtitle to of the project, because the project is unnamed. It's just a project that uh, the dreamer is apparently interested in, has gotten money for, has gotten space for, and is putting it to is in the process of somehow putting it all together. Now the the there's a, a couple of friends that appear here, um, and one is is female. Well, the one besides the wife, there's the a female friend, a male friend, and later on, a, yet another male friend. But in any case, these people, this group of people, are working on this new project, which hasn't been named. And I keep coming back to that because I. Uh, get the impression here that this is something perhaps that the unconscious, the shadow part of the dreamer is working on. So it's it's an invitation to the dreamer to discover perhaps in the shadows, in the unconscious level, um, a new project, something new, something new to focus on, a new direction perhaps. Um, this and I would put to the dreamer that the friend who created this brochure to set things in motion is again um, a, another representation of the dreamer's own shadow, his own unknown and unrecognized or underutilized parts of himself. But that that part is starting to open up and kind of put them put put their you know their business out on the street, so to speak. Um, there, the dreamer and his and the, his wife, in the meantime, are collecting resources, various resources. It doesn't say spe specify what those resources are, but they could be financial, they could be staffing, it could be anything. But apparently, it's a drink here. Oh, lost my connection for a second, but I'm back. <laughs> um, there's this 
a friend, this female friend who actually drove her car into the river by mis by accident. Um, I mean, maybe it was on a hill and she didn't put the, put the emergency brake on, who knows? But I would ask the dreamer here to consider whether this is the, the dreamer's anima or inner female um, that is driving this car. And cars often, um, with other vehicles, can often represent our journey through life, literally. Um, sometimes we're driving, sometimes we're being driven, sometimes we're on a bus, sometimes we're on foot, sometimes we're in the car or an airplane. So it represents, in a physical sense, our journeying through life. But this, um, if this is the, the dreamer's anima or inner female, which is about connection and relationship, drove this car into the river. It's as if the, you could say that the emotional part of the dreamer, as represented by the anima, is diving in to the unconscious. The river, water often in dreams represents the unconscious. Um, you know, you don't see what's underneath. You can only see what's on the surface. Um, but it's not driving into an ocean, but just driving into a river. So it's not too big, not too, unless it's the Amazon, of course. It's, not, it's navigable, in other words. You won't drown in it. Um, so it, it makes me want to ask the dreamer here is, is, um, does there seem to be a, perhaps an almost unconscious flow of thoughts of, uh, or ideas that are surging to the surface at the moment for the dreamer? Or has the dreamer been thinking about consciously creating something new and perhaps the, the unconscious, the shadow is actually doing the work to kind of put the, the, the thought um, and the inspiration together. And I would, I would put to the dreamer that perhaps the, the dreamer is being encouraged to take a dive, literally take a dive and do something creative. Now, this perhaps the dreamer has found this, this new calling or th this, um, uh, or this this desire to change direction or or to do something different through dreams, through intuition, through um, synchronicities and coincidences that happen, or perhaps it's this is just a return for the dreamer to a certain extent to the dreamer's past, as represented by his son, um, and an invite to be creative just like the, the, the dreamer was in their past, maybe as a child, but could be as an adult as well. But to let that inner child come out and play. Now, um, a third friend turns up <laughs> out of oh, seemingly out of the blue, um, an ex-roommate of the dreamer, and is, expresses excitement about being involved in this new project. I would put again, that this may be the shadow for the third time appearing um, in this set of dreams um, as a friend and who's excited about this, this new direction, this new project that's, that's um, being initiated. And I would ask the dreamer here, is there some new direction or initiative or project that's um, happening or about to happen at the moment um, that the dreamer is finds himself becoming enthusiastic and excited about, and what is it? Okay, so we've we've looked at all of the the different bits that came out of the dream, but what is the connection between between these two dreams? Well, the first thing that jumps out at me is the shadow. The shadow keeps appearing. The shadow appears in the psychological test. Um, the um, shadow also appears in the form of uh, the dreamer's friends um, twice, once with the person working on a, a pamphlet um, about the, this project, and the, uh, the woman driving her car accidentally into the river. Um, and 
there that's again the shadow the the inner part the hidden part of the of dreamer that uh, seems to be acting here so the dreamer son represents the shadow as a, a new beginning or the inner child as i said the anima driving the car um into into the river which is represents the unconscious and the ex-roommate who <clears throat> seemingly just comes out of the shadows suddenly to to express uh their enthusiasm for this new project which could also um, be representative of the dreamer himself. So there you have it. Um, diving cars, <laughs> psychological tests, and brand new projects. And it sounds like the dreamer could actually be entering uh, a very a creative fa uh, phase of their life or going back to a more creative time in their lives. And I'll be interested to find out afterwards uh, what new projects the dreamer is undertaking these days because it sounds like there are new things happening for them thanks so much for watching and listening have a great evening and rest of the week and i'll see you again soon take care bye bye